All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome. So excited to have all of you here to the live program, live webinar, the hidden safety features of TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, Fortnite, YouTube, and Netflix. We got a lot going on. So welcome everybody who's piling into the Zoom room, people who are watching us live on YouTube. I've got a lot in store for you here today. Now, we're going to watch a quick video and then we're going to dive on into it. So let me know in the chat room, those of you who are here on Zoom, I'm going to give you a poll. So go ahead and let's launch that poll. I'm going to do something else real quick here. It's like I'm flying the space shuttle because we got so much stuff going on. So everybody in the chat box, in the chat room, <clears throat> uh, let me know what city, state, and country you're from. Also, are you a parent, an educator, or both? Parent and educator or both. All right, we're diving on in. Let's watch a little video of what people say after this program. Let me tell you what people say after they've experienced this program. Hello, everyone. I'm Josh with smartsocial.com. We have two awesome new VIP members here, very informed parents. And actually, Marie is the very informed parent. She just joined one of our VIP membership courses where we taught TikTok safety, some Snapchat safety. We didn't do it to take things away from their kids. We did it with her daughter, Anna. Now, Marie, what did you think of what we just taught? Um, I think it was amazing. Um, I feel more comfortable, obviously, the more knowledge that I have. And I think the problem is that there's, I feel like there's always a lot of knowledge out there that I need to know. And you just made it real concise and um, very easy to follow. So it helped me feel more comfortable and it felt made me feel like I could really handle, you know, um, navigating it. And then alongside of Anna, um, helping her understand the safety features and why the safety features are so important. That's awesome. So, now, Anna has a website. She started one through her school, has, which is really mm -hmm. exciting. Anna, let's talk quickly about the safety. What did you feel when I showed you TikTok, how to privatize it and public it? How did you feel about those features? Well, I thought it was really helpful. I thought it was really creepy that people can send your TikToks to each other. So like it wouldn't just be on TikTok. It could be on other forms of social media. So that was really helpful. That's yeah. Now you're going to we're in the next couple of weeks. You guys are going to fine tune your portfolios and turn them into little websites. How does that make you feel, Anna? Um, it's going to it's going to make me feel like I have a purpose. Like you said, it's going to make me feel like more inspired to do better things on social media rather than just like use it for fun. Yeah. Yeah. Marie, you must be so proud. Now, Marie, you have five daughters. I do. Wow. That's amazing. I'm so excited for you. Um, what would you say to other parents that are on the fence that are struggling? What, what, what confidence would you give them? Um, the confidence is in knowledge. I really believe that the more we know, the better equipped we are, um, to face all the challenges of this media world that is so overwhelming. And, um, it's just important to find someone you trust like Josh, so that you can, um, rely on somebody who has all the information that they need to keep our kids safe. And I, I just really have, um, since the day we saw you at the girls school, um, have been able to trust, um, your, I've been using your app and I've been reading your emails. And so I've really enjoyed, um, I'm excited about the podcast. I didn't even know you had one. So now I'm excited about the podcast. So that'll be easy on my exercise runs to um, listen to you. So I would just say, arm yourself with knowledge so that you can keep your kids safe because that's the only way to do it. We can't just fly by the seat of our pants and I didn't want to give them access without the knowledge. And so I'm excited about learning. Well, I'm really honored that you'd uh, be a VIP to so the rest of you. So thank you, Marie. Anna, special thanks to you for joining us today. The rest of you, you can learn more at smartsocial.com to keep, to be the most informed parent on the block and to work with your kids. We're not working. All right, guys. So here we are. Um, I see all of you in there. You're amazing. We've got Anna. We've got Annette. We've got Joshua Olson. I know a Josh Olson from Los Angeles. I'm not sure if that's the same one. Rebecca, Rick, Roberta, Tracy. We've got people from Washington, Milwaukee. It's so good to have you here. A hidden, we're going to cover things that the big apps do not want you to know, guys. They do not want you to know. I'm going to teach you a hidden screen time feature inside of iPhones and Androids and really how to activate it to protect your family. 
And then I'm going, if we had more time, I'd teach you how to tether your phone to your kid's phone, but we don't have the time. So I have a workshop at the end if you want it. A hidden part of the YouTube app to limit screen time. They're not going to tell you about this. A dangerous Snapchat feature and how to turn it off. Oh, this is a big one. How to find out if your student has a second or fake Instagram account. It's a pretty big one. And then next, how TikTok can change your student's online footprint. And as you saw from Anna, people can download and share and do all this stuff to your TikToks. How to change your student's relationship with Fortnite and how, to, how dangerous video games can impact students. And then a feature in Netflix that's going to help your family reduce screen time. They're going to, you're going to reduce zombie time. What is that? I'm going to talk about it. You're going to love it. And then a bonus for members. Um, if you become a member at the end of this, you don't have to, but people are begging us for resources. So I've assembled the best team in Los Angeles I can find to help you. And if you want to do that, we can set up parental controls on the topic that you vote on in the poll. Uh, we have a bunch of people of 85% uh, of you voted in the poll. Great. Smart Social's mission is to keep students and kids safe on social media so they can someday shine online. And we talk a lot about this Shine Online program because we teach students how to build a portfolio and a website and, and change their Google results. We'll talk about that at the end. Now, I got my start at Walt Disney Studios in traditional brand marketing, essentially at the bottom of the rung, almost an intern, basically. And here's the products that cross my desk. Finding Nemo, Pirates of the Caribbean, Lion King, Power Rangers, Ninja Storm. And these people were experts at taking this, first of all, producing an awesome movie. And second of all, taking that movie and creating a one image that represents the two hour film. And just look at what these are. You get these emotional feelings of them. If you look really close, it just looks great. So uh, this is what I teach students. And at the end of this, I'll talk to you about branding, but we really teach students rather than just having these devices, why not use them to shine online to get that dream college career and everywhere else. Guys, I've written a bunch of books on this topic. Each of my books teach people and businesses how to shine online. We've been on the news and our techniques are featured on major news networks because they're short and to the, to the point. Uh, some of the world's biggest brands use these techniques and these tips. And you're welcome to use them today too. They work, uh, it's not just a, oh, they, only, they don't just work for kids. They work for large companies as well. Here's what people say at the end of this, very informative, amazing info, so engaging, invaluable, extremely informative, uh, great webinar, amazing work beyond valuable. Now at the end of this, I'm gonna give you a free takeaway. It's a top 97 teen app list for parents. And it has a link to every one of the teen apps that, that you could probably wonder about. Here's what it looks like. I'm gonna give you this link. If you're like, well, what's, what about the Marco Polo app, Josh? Good question. All you do is you click on it. And it goes to a guide that is awesome, 879 shares. It has all this amazing stuff. And so just something really valuable. What, what's the, Josh, what's the line app? Let's go look at it. Well, and, it, and I've made a whole video for you. This is worth thousands of dollars. It's my gift to you guys, okay? So at the end of this, hang out to the end. You're going to get that for free. Before we get started, if you've come at all confused on a social media topic, my goal is that you go home a little bit more comfortable. The presentation I'm about to give you is full of suggestions. Use what you feel is right for your family. My podcast has over a couple hundred episodes, interviews with psychologists, counselors, therapists, teachers, parents, authors, and more. It's all free for you to subscribe to. I'm going to give it to you. Um, iPhone users, open up your camera on your phone and hang out to the end. I'm giving away a free PDF of the 97 plus teen apps but you have to be a podcast subscriber to do that. Please open your favorite podcast uh, software. Now, for those of you who are Android users, uh, I'm gonna give you Android users a, let's go ahead and do this. Android users, I'm gonna give you a link real quick so that if you do have an Android, you'll know what to, uh, to click on. And all of you iPhone users, just point your phone, point your phone at this, or your camera, please, at that thing. What do you mean by that? Well, watch this. Just take your camera, point it at this. Boink, you see how all of a sudden this opened up up here? See that? It's amazing. I just opened my camera on my iPhone. I'm going to click up here and then you can subscribe to our podcast. Wow, Josh, that's so high tech. I know I'm a big nerd. Okay. Subscribed, clicked, boom. At the end of this, if you want to give us a rating, uh, please listen to our uh, my podcast. I got the best psychologists. Uh, these are what people, you can rate it at the end if you want to. All you do is you scroll up to the you know bottom and scroll all the way to the bottom and then go up a little bit. 
and you can uh, leave a rating and tell people what you learned. So, okay, let's keep going, guys. Great. Let me know if you subscribed. Let me know in the chat box. And iPhone users, let me know iPhone subscribed or Android, uh, Android subscribed. Let me know because I want to know uh, if you subscribed. And let me know if that phone thing worked, the camera camera thingy, if that worked, because that's kind of cool, right? Is that is that good? Or do you, would you rather me teach people how to search? Um, I'm sub Cool camera trick, says Tracy. I'm subscribed. That's great. Okay, I'm glad it worked. That's awesome. Okay, um, beautiful. Great, Rick, that's awesome. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Tracy. So let's go ahead and dive on into this. Screen time dangerous, guys. MIT says, teens are anxious and depressed after three hours a day on social. USA Today says, don't take your smartphone to bed if you want a good night's sleep. Yikes. USA Today also says, too much screen time for toddlers may lead to unhealthy behaviors growing up, a teen uh, study says. Teen social media use may increase the risk of mental health problems. Wow. Pew Research Center says how parents feel about and manage their teens' online behavior and screen time. Parents were asked these questions, and a majority of them said yes. Are your kids spending too much time in front of screens? 65% said yes, right? 33% said a lot. Are they losing the ability to communicate in person? 62% said yes. Are they sharing too much about their life online? 61% said yes. Are they being harassed or bullied online? 59% said yes. Are they sending or receiving explicit messages? 57% said yes. We're going to fix all this. This is our life's mission here at smartsocial.com. And just by listening to our podcast, you might get a, a few tips or two here or there. At the end of this, I'm inviting you to become a VIP, very informed parent member. Uh, as And you saw those people in the beginning. They are members. And it really supports us, but it also gives you our best data, all these little courses and stuff. Now, should we ban kids from the internet? Great question. Here's a story from Dorothy. This is Dorothy on Twitter. She says, I'm leaving social media forever, or actually Twitter forever. My mom took my phone. I'll miss you all so much. I'm crying goodbye. This is a picture of a celebrity, not Dorothy. And this is sent from the Nintendo 3DS image share, right? Now, Josh, what is that? What's a 3DS? Well, I'm glad you asked because this is what it looks like. You see her mom caught her and took a picture of it and tweeted it. I saw that Dorothy has been using Twitter on her Nintendo. This account will be shut down now, right? You're thinking, good, good try. Game over, Dorothy. Game over, right? Wrong. Next, she tweets this. Hello, my mom took my phone and my Nintendo DS, so I have no choice but to use my Wii. Thank you all for the support and the love. I'll answer my direct messages and follow back when I have a stable connection to Twitter. Bye, love, Dorothy, right? You're thinking... Clever, you found that Wii thing. You guys know what a Wii is, right? You found that Wii thing. You're so clever. Um, game over. Good try, Dorothy. You're awesome. Wrong. Next, she tweets this. I do not know if this is going to tweet. I'm talking to my fridge. What the heck? My mom confiscated all of my electronics again. Sent from the LG smart refrigerator. Wait, what? Our refrigerators can tweet? Yep, if they have a screen on them, they can. Crazy, right? Let me ask you again. Can we ban? It should, it's not, should we ban? It's not, should we ban? Let's adjust slides live. We are live, ladies and gentlemen. It's, can we ban kids from the web? No, they're going to figure out how to get back online, everybody, right? I mean, look at, look at Dorothy. She figured out how to get back online. And so that's what we're doing here today. Let's work with your kids instead of against them, with them instead of against them. Parents, get your phones. We're going to show you the missing features on your phone that the big companies do not want you to know about. iPhone users, grab your iPhone and click on that settings button, guys. Android users, I'll be with you in a sec. iPhone users, when you click on the settings button, scroll down to screen time. When you scroll down to screen time, click on that and it's going to go, whoa, how many hours do you have? I've got five hours. Uh, I'm down 22% from last week. It should always be down because Saturday catches up and it evens out e at the end of each week. But five hours. Next, if you join my boot camp or become a member, um, I, we've got downtime. Now, downtime, I want to show you how to use this effectively with your kids, but downtime if you turn it on, it helps your kids get better sleep. Yeah, it helps them rest better. Because remember, these devices are, are kind of scary. They keep kids, they create depression, lack of sleep, and everything else. Next, I want to teach you at the end of this, if you get, we get a chance to work together, 
app limits. And this will lock down each individual app so you can control the apps your kids are most addicted to. Huge, huge thing. Okay, next. Uh, let me know in the comments, my daily average was this hours and this minutes, or I didn't have mine on. Let me know. Android users, get your Androids. Um, here's your settings, Android users. You see that settings button right there? Click on settings, so scroll down to digital well-being, digital well-being. When you click on that, you're going to see, whoa, you got all this good stuff here. Look, 55 minutes is how many times I've had mine open. Two unlocks, neat. Dashboard, what? Click on the dashboard and you'll see minute by minute for app by app by day by day. And we teach you how to tether your kid's phone too. iPhone users, we teach you how to set up your kid's phone and your phone. Why? Because predators and addiction um, are on the other side of that. And we want to make sure we keep you guys from seeing that kind of stuff. All right, great. So let's go ahead and dive on into this. Um, let me know if you have this on. Roberta says one hour and 33 minutes. That's pretty good. That's pretty good compared to me. Um, I, Tracy says, you don't want to know how many hours I have. Tracy, there is no shame here. Tracy, let's look at my real one because this is my live one. I'm scrolling down to screen time. I'm 521. I'm, I'm 548. Tracy, are you that bad? Can you have that? Come on, let, let's let, let us know. It could be nine hours. Let's say it's nine or 10. It's Corona time, right? So it's not a big deal. All right, guys, please set this up on your student's phone. If you need help tethering them and all that other stuff, I've got a workshop at the end. I'll give you a free week. You can try it out. I'm a resource. There's no sales. Um, there's no sales here. How to set up parental controls on an iPhone. We built this thing to serve the whole world. So at the end, I'll give you this if you want it. Now, guys, let's discuss some popular apps. I watch digital trends come and go in the hallways of middle schools and high schools as I travel across America, but now I Zoom. It's way better now. You're going to get my team's best tips. You can visit smartsocial.com. Uh, educators. Let me know in the chat box, are you an educator? Let me know if you're an educator at the top of the page. So uh, educators, if you go to smartsocial.com, do you see the word school presentations up there? Um, Tracy, you see that? You click on school presentations. You guys are going to learn what other principals say about us in front of a thousand students. You keep scrolling down and you're going to see our podcast. You can listen to the way we teach people. You can listen to sixth graders bringing their grandmas to my parent night speech and going, this was awesome. And you keep, uh, keep scrolling down. You're going to get our, our news clippings that you can, you can have as well. Um, you keep scrolling down. You're going to get access to all of our books. You can buy on Amazon. I've written six books. And um, you can then see what principals and staff see. What? What do they say after? I mean, all these people are willing to give. Even, even Catholic sisters, oh, my favorites. They're so sweet. And they're really humorous, by the way. They're really funny. As a kid, you grow up and you're like, ah, discipline. But now you go, wait, these are the most loving people you've ever met in your entire life. And I work with a lot of educators. But anyways, you can see what people say. No matter what direction you have, you can then roll over the higher us school presentations, turns into a higher us button. And you can just set up a call with us to book us, to hire us. And schools and organizations contact us today to learn more about our remote presentations and our video workshops. I got some stuff at the end about that. So you can do that. Um, Annette says, I'm a mental health professional. Awesome, Annette. And Tracy says, she's an educator. Great. Hey, I'm going to give you a spoiler alert. The end of the movie, I'm going to bring it right up to the front of the movie. The best way for parents and teachers to keep their kids safe on social media is to be on the same apps the kids are using and to have a social media agreement before they're online. Do not let your kid drive a car around forever or don't give them the keys and then immediately uh, start teaching them. It's way ahead of time. Also set up parental controls on your student's phone so you can monitor them a little bit easier. Join me at the end of this presentation if you wanna set those up, okay? Okay, does anyone know the top social media network and what it is? Let me know in the chat box. While we're doing that, I'm gonna share the poll results. What are your biggest frustrations? Seeing inappropriate content, 67% of you said that. What apps are your kids using? Snapchat and YouTube are the biggest ones so far. Instagram and Fortnite are second in line, tied. How old are your kids? Um, most of you have 17 and plus, that's amazing. But some of you have 15 year olds and 13 year olds. Do your students and children have their own smartphone? Yes, they have an iPhone. 100% of you said that. All right, we don't have any Android users. Good, good, good. Um, I, the parent, have an iPhone. 100% of you. Great. At the end of this presentation, I want multiple. I want 
I want to learn, but I can't stay after. Tell me about the boot camp so I can learn in the future. Great. A few of you, the next line said, I need help setting up parental controls on my iPhone. Tonight, I want to learn this platform the most so I can set it up on my kid's phone. TikTok and Snapchat. Guys, we're going to talk about those a bit. All right. So we're stopped the, the results. That's great. Thanks for taking that. The largest social network in the world is YouTube. I'm going to give you some YouTube stats. I didn't think of YouTube as a social network, Josh. Good, because I want to give you information you didn't think of. YouTube is has 2 billion logged in monthly users and lots of chatting and lots of other stuff. 81% of 15 to 25 year olds in the US use YouTube. People upload 500 hours of video every minute. What? What are you talking about? That's how, do, how does that work? Well, 500 times 60 minutes is 30,000 minutes every minute. 30,000 minutes uploaded every minute. 70% of what people watch on YouTube is determined by the recommendation algorithm. Yikes. And I'm going to teach you how to turn off the recommendation algorithm. So get your phones ready. Get your iPhone apps ready. Get your, your YouTube apps ready. I'll teach you how to turn this off. In the US alone, YouTube's going to make $5.5 billion in advertising revenue in 2020. Now, YouTube's the world's second largest search engine, in case you didn't know. What? And Google's the number one. Guess who owns YouTube? Google. So together, they are a machine. It's loaded with video content ranging from good stuff to bad stuff. And it's a wonderful space to learn how to build a positive resume, but it can also impact negatively if it's used in the wrong ways. Viral YouTube videos can promote danger, guys. What is the YouTube fire challenge? A Michigan boy was badly burned by a friend. Children set each other on fire for social media. Jason said his friend sprayed him with nail polish remover and set him on fire. He suffered second degree burns on his chin, his chest, and his stomach. Now, just to take a moment to look at this student, this poor kid, uh, this beautiful little child here is just sitting there with burns on himself. And a lot of people are thinking right now, why doesn't he have common sense? I don't understand. Guys, if you don't talk to your kids about common sense and what common things are to have make sense out of them, then they won't know. That's why you got to be on the same apps your kids are on. Have a social media agreement, right? All that stuff I taught you at the beginning. And then also setting up parental controls so you can monitor this addictive device, right? This device that wants so much of our time. Monitor it. It's so, so, so important. All right, YouTube is user generated. It relies on users to flag videos. Students can unintentionally watch inappropriate or dangerous videos, guys. People can easily get addicted to watching online videos and can waste a lot of time on YouTube. Now get your phones. We're gonna look at the hidden settings for YouTube, guys. We're gonna open the YouTube app. If you don't open it, that's fine. Click on the library in the bottom right. Then click on the headshot in the upper right. Hey, my kids don't have a YouTube account, but they have the app. Josh. That's bad. Well, it's better to give your kids an account at Google and YouTube because if you put their real age in, YouTube is required to then do their best to protect your children. You see, some of the things that we think about in life, they might be countering, they might actually, our intuition might be wrong because we don't have all the data and we haven't done the research. And so this is one of those things where like, whoa, you want to log your kids in and put the age because then when you click on it, you go to time watched, click on time watched. Now you've got resources you can use. So in the last seven days, you've used it for 24 minutes. Um, you can also see your watch history right here. Okay. Next, remind me to take a break. I turn this on every 20 minutes. You can adjust this every 20 minutes. It goes, Hey, you want to take a break? You've been watching like four or five, six videos. Good idea. Go outside. Uh, next autoplay next video. I turn this off. What? When autoplay is enabled, a suggested video will automatically play next. Wow. So autoplay next video, I turn that off. There is one more feature, guys. One more feature that I don't have here. I talk so fast, I yawn sometimes because my brain, did you know that yawning is just reminding your body to get more oxygen? It just means, hey, you haven't breathed enough. But I'll talk so quick, I'll sometimes yawn because my body's like, you need more oxygen. So Here's what I want to remind you right here. It, um, later on in our boot camp, our workshops, and everything else, there is one new feature that just rolled out last week that I want to tell you about. It tells you when to go to bed. It's pretty cool. Hey guys, let me know if this is helpful in the comments. Was this helpful um, on how to use YouTube? I got a bunch more of them. You hang out with me. We're going places together, guys. We are going places. Let me know. Tracy says yes. 
Anna says, yes, that was very helpful. Roberta says, thank you. Okay, guys, um, another thing that's important that a lot of moms are asking right now, moms, I'm your BFF. I'm your best friend. Um, a lot of things they're asking is how do we do this on a, on a computer, on a desktop? My kids are watching YouTube on a desktop, on a computer. And, and um, that's a very good question. And that's going to be more of a thing where, uh, A, you need to log them in and put their real age. And B, we need to make sure that they're on the computer in limited times, right? And when they have the phone, it's forever. But on the computer, they can do a few minutes, put an egg timer next to it, all this other stuff, okay? There's all kinds of life hacks that we're going to work on. Now, please set this up on your kids' phones. If you need assistance, we have a short workshop at the end. If you want to take it, we don't have time to go through it all, but we set it up with your kids. Uh, how to set up YouTube for a positive impact in your life. I care about your kids' life. I don't care about restricting them from the phones. I can make the phones and their life succeed together, and I can make the phones help them go places. I've got a, If you like what you're seeing so far, wait till you see what we're capable of together. Okay, let's look at Snapchat. After you create a snap, you can send it to friends and even to groups. You can also add snaps to your daily story or submit them to Our Story. Snaps sent to Our Story can show up on the map, in search, on the web, or in other places. You can share the moment with someone special or the whole world. All righty. So let's take a look at this. A bunch of you said Snapchat was important to you. Well, I want to tell you about Snapchat's location feature and why it's so dangerous, guys. Let's cut right to the important stuff. Atlanta Channel 2 News says a restaurant employee used Snapchat to track teen customers, police say. Police believe a cook in the restaurant spotted the girls while they ate lunch. Hey, let's pause for a sec. Let me know in the chat box, does your kid or do any of your clients or any of your students use Snapchat? Give me Snapchat yes or Snapchat no. Let me know. Snapchat yes, Snapchat no. Okay, so the police believe a cook in the restaurant spotted the girls while they ate lunch and then used Snapchat's location application to find them and send them messages. This 23-year-old did admit that he asked the girls for sex and for money, police said. Okay, Tracy says yes. Rick says Snapchat yes. Roberta says yes. Anna says not yet, no. Here's how to turn off Snap Map, a feature inside of Snapchat. This is scary, guys. This is really, really scary. Now, let me just move this down so you can see my face and you can also see this, boom. All right, so let's do this again and turn my head on. All right, so here we go, start the video. So how to turn off this feature. First, you gotta open up Snap, Snapchat. Okay, Snapchat's the app, Snap Map is a feature. This is what it looks like when you're a dork using Snapchat, okay? This guy right here. Now, I want you to do this special thing. I want you to click in the middle of the screen of Snapchat and I want you to scroll down. And when you do that, scroll down, what? Whoa, you see what happened there is it created a map and it replaced my face with a map. And this is a map where it puts you on that map and it shares your location with all of your followers. Let me tell you what, why kids are creeped out about this. They know that a lot of their friends and followers, friends, if anybody that's listening to only the audio of this, I am air quoting like Joey does in Friends, air quote. I don't know what this means. If, if you've seen that, you um, let me know in the chat box if you're a Friends fan and know that. But it'll put you and everybody else on the map. And that it, it creeps kids out because kids go, whoa, I don't know a lot of my followers. And I kids are starting to get savvy. They're starting to get savvier than parents because kids know they're, they're in it on their own. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean, their parents know so little that, that we had to invent the VIP program, the Very Informed Parents program to bring you up speed. Kids are like, well, I, I know that there can be creepy old men that pretend like they're 13 and they're 55 year old men that abduct kids. Don't believe it. I get calls from the news organizations going, hey, we caught in a child abductor. Would you like to comment on this because you're a social media guy? Okay, so kids are creeped out about this, so I show them how to turn it off. Here we go, I'm gonna show you how to turn this off. So what you're gonna do is click on the little location gear in the upper right, here we go. Click on the location gear, and in the upper right, you're gonna see what? Ghost mode, when enabled, your friends can't see your location. Interesting, but Josh, I'll just go down here to only these friends. Well, it's actually better to just click on ghost mode, 
And then here's what's bad. It goes, are you sure you want to turn this on for, for, oh, for eternity? Well, let's just turn it on for three hours, 24. I want you to click until turned off. You can always turn it back off, but turn ghost mode on guys. Consider turning it on. Let me know in the chat box. Was that helpful? When ghost mode is on, all of your friends disappear and you disappear from their locations, right? Ghost mode. And that way your followers can't see where you are at. Let me know in the chat box if that was helpful, guys. All right, let's keep moving. We're going to move quick. Please set this up on your students' phones. If you need help, I've got workshops just for parents and I've got workshops for parents and students to do together, right? I believe in doing it together. How to set up Snapchat for a positive impact for your life, right? I care about your kid's life in the whole, in the grand scheme of things and their career and their internship and their college. Rebecca says, um, Tracy says, mine was already turned on. Awesome. Rebecca says, very helpful. Instagram with a billion users on the app, 71% are under the age of 35. You guys know that Instagram is a free photo, photo and video sharing application. Instagram also has private messaging called direct. I've got a whole video. I'm going to show you two seconds of it. This is inside of our very informed parents workshop. If you ever want me to teach your kids how to be positive on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Fortnite, and everything else, this is a preview taste of what you get. Parents, I'm Josh with smartsocial.com. And in our VIP membership, Very Informed Parents, we want to teach you how to set up Instagram for a positive impact. This is a student workshop where we teach you a ton of stuff. And the coolest part about the way we teach is it looks just like this. It's live. So we walk students through exactly how a college or employer will find you and why branding is important. And I teach them how to set up their Instagram live on the actual account, how to brand your Instagram to have fun and shine online, right? What they're basically doing here, how to set up your bio and your photo, and then where to link. Do you see the special link here? We show students exactly why that's so important. Tell a story with your highlights or stories. And I show students, you can have... All right, enough about that. You get the idea. We teach students how to brand themselves because there's a lot of posting going on, but nobody is talking to students how to positively impact their Google results using this tool. Okay, so just know we teach you how to set all this stuff up. Why should you care about any of this? Well, the app has been known to be a breeding ground for bullying behavior. In an effort to gain more followers or attention, some users might behave in a negative or dangerous way. Instagram can have a serious impact on your student's digital footprint in a positive or negative manner, depending on what they post. And there's many reports of predators using Insta to target and groom their victim. New York Times says Instagram is great for models. It's also good for predators. ABC 12 says police say Instagram has become the most used site for child predators. Wow. How to find out if your student has a Finstagram account, a fake Instagram account. Guys, let me know in the comments if your student has a Finstagram. Type in Finstagram, uh, yes, no, or not sure. Finstagram, yes, no, or not sure. Let me know in the comments. Uh, Tracy says, I don't think so. That's cool. And if you don't know, I'm going to teach you. Uh, Rick says, Finstagram, yes. Okay. Um, and okay, great. That's good. Let's keep going. Before we get started, Roberta says, I don't think so. Before we get started, there's one official Instagram app. The official Instagram app can administer or manage up to five Instagram accounts and usernames. There's a chance your student might be managing a friend's account for them, or they set up a fun account to mock a teacher, an admin, or other students at school. And this is called a Finsta, a fake Instagram, a Finstagram or a spam account. Rebecca says, yes, both my girls have spam Instagram accounts. I'm not allowed to see them. Oh, Rebecca, we're going to work on that at the end. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you how to find them. Rebecca, here we go. So how to find someone's second secret Instagram account. Hey, Rebecca, I, I'm going to play tough love with you later, meaning I'm going to give you some ideas and some tips on how to protect your kids a little bit later. If you, if you want that, I don't want to uh, overstep my boundaries, but I have a lot of freedom here. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's show you how to find out someone's second. Um, you wrote, yes, I want to learn more. Great. So let's do this together, guys. Let's do it live because love, 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 love the chance to show you in a detailed manner live. So let's go ahead and find uh, someone's second secret Instagram account. This is my real phone. Love doing this. And in all of my uh, consultations in my boot camps. I'll, I'll invite you at the end to teach your students how to do this. 
the positive way to do this. Okay, let's click on Instagram. Do you guys see the Instagram logo? There's no Finstagram app. It's just an Instagram app. So let's click on that. And then let's click down here, okay? So what I did is first you have to get your child's phone to do this. Oh, but Josh, you don't know. No, no, no. Unfortunately, to do this trick, you got to get your kid's phone. So open their Instagram account, right? Like we did right here. And then you can look around. Ooh, neat. And then you can do it with their permission, look over their shoulder. And what I want you to do is click on this, this image once, you know, see my little headshot at the bottom. If you see that it's a black and white person, they don't have a Finstagram on this app. But if they see a headshot, an actual image, you're like, whoa, why is that there? So now you hold that down. Just hold down the image in the lower right of Instagram. One, two, three. Whoa, what's going on there? Well, these are the other accounts I have on this phone. Smart Social Kids, Santa Monica Airport, my kids program that teaches kids how airplanes work. Media Leaders, my corporate branding company. And so we've got all these apps. What? Well, the one that we're currently on has the checkbox. We can toggle between accounts. So let's click on Smart Social Kids. Boom. TikTok can do this too. We just found this out the other day. Now we're in here and now the students are doing this. Now, how do they add accounts? We'll go to the top. You see the username, Smart Social Kids. Click on that. It pops up just the same, but it has add an account at the bottom, add an account at the bottom. And now you can add an account and you can click on log into an existing account or create a new account. <gasps> what? Let's go back to Josh Oaks and leave it at that. All right, guys, let me know. Was that helpful? Was that helpful, Rebecca? Let me know if that was helpful to see how your kids are using their Instas. Guys, please consider setting this up on your students' phones if you need help talking to kid, your kids about that. Roberta says yes, and Anna says yes, it was helpful. Um, I've got a parent course. I've got a student course, how to set up Instagram for a positive high school and middle school career. I mean, that's what I care about. I care about your, your whole child. I don't care about, don't do this. I mean, you're gonna, if you have anybody in your life that's like, don't do that, that what is a kid gonna wanna do? Don't touch the hot stove. Oh my gosh, the kid, all they want to do is touch the hot stove. I would rather be in your life to say, hey, that stove is hot. That knife is sharp, but I need your help. Are you hungry? Great. We're going to cook a delicious dinner. I'm going to need your help. We're going to, I'm going to teach you how to chop the, I'm going to teach you how to chop the tomatoes. We're going to make an amazing this, 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 this. I need all your help. Like pay attention and do this. And the kid then gets why the sophisticated hot device of danger exists and they're less curious about hurting themselves. They're more like, whoa, that serves a purpose, right? Hopefully you see that. My workshops are all about it. Um, Rebecca says, I've been locked out of their, their uh, spam accounts. Um, they don't accept my requests on them. Hey, Rebecca, I'm going to be honest with you. At the very, very end, I've got 10 steps of tough love I'm going to give you, okay? TikTok, what is it? And is it safe? A guide for clueless parents. Whenever there are a huge number of people using a social media app, there's a dark side, says NBC. So true. Now, TikTok's a social media app that allows users to film videos 15 to 60 seconds in length, lip syncing, dancing, creating comedy sketches are some of the most popular types of videos. Built-in filters and editing tools make it easy for users to create their videos without any additional apps. Why should parents care about TikTok? There's a lot of mature content on it. The app boasts an endless stream of content, which is addictive. And even for adults, if accounts are not set to private, strangers can watch what your kids post and communicate with your kids. Parents know that everything your student posts publicly could alter their digital footprint. Set your child's account to private. It only takes 20 or 30 minutes. We've got a workshop on this at the end if you want it. More on that later. The Sun says, Perv's Playground. Kids as young as eight being groomed by predators on TikTok app that is more popular than Snapchat. Horrified parents are told how they discovered strangers had been messaging their children on the app and sending threatening messages. Yikes! Now, how can TikTok hurt your kid's future? Well, when your kids are on TikTok, right, and they're clicking on that, that icon, when they're on TikTok, everything they post, if they want more followers, they'll do it, click a setting not knowing that it's creating a website for them and publicly posting this. So what we do in our little boot camp, if you need it, or workshop, whatever you want to call it, is we teach students why they need to lock it down and then have fun when they're ready and before they get it or after they got it, okay? So that's what's important. This becomes a website that kids don't know that creepy old people are looking at your daughter. 
please set this up on your students phones if you need help i got a TikTok parent course and a TikTok course for students called how to have a great life how to po be positive on it and have fun and purposeful right you saw that with the student in the beginning fortnite here's the logo up here what is it it's a multiplayer shooting game available on console pc android and ios gameplay involves a contest between as many players as possible actually 100 and players fight each other until they're all dead. Only one is left winning. Players can chat with other players, including strangers using headsets or text. Many players spend a lot of money on in-app upgrades and some students find it difficult to balance virtual worlds and reality. A 45 year old was arrested for threatening to shoot his 11 year old Fortnite rival, say police, according to ABC News. Yikes, the 45 year old said he would travel to the boys school to shoot him. He was actually arrested. These aren't harsh words. It was enough to where he got arrested. These students behave differently after playing violent video games. I want to show you a few studies. First of all, um, comfortably numb, desensitizing effects of violent media. In study number one, participants played a violent or nonviolent video game for 20 minutes. After gameplay, they heard a loud fight in which one person was injured outside the laboratory. Participants who played violent video games took longer to help the injured victim. They rated the fight as less serious. They were less likely to hear the fight in comparison to participants who played nonviolent video games. In study two, different groups watched violent and nonviolent movies. Each group witnessed a young woman with an injured ankle who struggled to pick up her crutches outside the theater, guys, either before or after the movie. Participants who had just watched a violent movie took longer to help than the participants in the other three conditions. It hurt their empathy. Their empathy level lowered during that moment, and it desensitized them, and they became comfortably numb. Let me know in the comment box what you think of this, guys. Let me know. Is this scary? Is this something you think is true? Some of you are work as professionals, working with students. Have you seen this? Let me know what you think. Parents, what you can do, play the game with your kids if they have it. Watch how they light up when you spend time in a subject they enjoy. Turn off the game's chat settings. Check in often. Students need to see that their parents' wisdom is also online. If your student plays this game on a console, you can use parental controls and consider using a visual timer. Anna says, true and scary, so true. Now, please set this up with your kid. Before they get the access to this, please show them our little workshop, Fortnite, how to play Fortnite for a positive impact in your life. I mean, it's, we, we name it for kids because they want to, they go, oh, he's saying Fortnite's positive. Awesome. He's cool. But really, there's a lot of embedded safety stuff in there. Okay, on to Netflix. We're moving quick, guys. I love it. I love it. The Netflix apps allows users with a Netflix account to watch streaming movies and TV shows. You know this. 61 million users. It's huge. Okay, let me teach you some stuff no one else is gonna teach you, okay? So here we go. Pardon me, I got the hiccups. Don't give your kids your netflix.com password number one, okay guys? Because they're gonna undo everything I teach you. Visit netflix.com and open the parental controls not in the app. Then you're gonna choose a maturity level. What are you talking about? Well, we're gonna do this together, guys. Netflix, nope, that's not it. Netflix Party is another app that we reviewed. Net Netflix.com. Okay. Um, I am not signed in. That's why. Hold on. Let me go over to my other one. Let me go over here. I've got different, different systems. Okay. Netflix. That's why Netflix party came up. Who's watching? You're familiar with this, but don't click on one of these. Click on manage profiles. When you click manage profiles, now you can go over to Josh Oaks and there's two things I want you to start with. These are normally checked off, normally check boxes. Now, what I want you to do is uncheck them. When you uncheck autoplay next episode in a series, it doesn't go to the next episode of Ozark or whatever. Uh, it doesn't go to that next episode automatically, which helps your kids decide. And I teach this to students. I'm all about students. Students, you decide what you watch next, not the system. Next, autoplay previews while browsing on all devices. Keep that off too. That's a big deal. What does that mean? Well, when you're done here and you go in, watch this. When I go in to watch it, do you see how there's no autoplay here? Do you see how when I scroll down, there's no autoplay, right? And that's nice because then your kids aren't getting sucked into all this stuff. They're not getting the autoplay, the autoplay, the autoplay, <clears throat> right? So that's important. Let's also scroll over and go to manage profiles here one more time. And let's go over to Josh Oaks again. 
Let's go change his maturity levels. Click edit on the maturity levels. You got to have your password to do this. Click continue. If Josh, if you don't want him seeing NC17, inappropriate for ages 17 and under, you can go down to 13. You can do, pick his age and make a kid's version and do TVY and everything kids is fun. And then in our boot camp, in our workshop, we teach you how to set up a, a pin code so the kids can't get access to everybody else's stuff. But you get the idea. Next, let's say you don't want them to see 13 Reasons Why. 13 Reasons Why is pretty bad. Um, it's, it's a suicide show. It's not so good. It teaches kids why somebody committed suicide and how they got back at people. So you could uh, hide the 13 Reasons Why and 13 Reasons Why sequel, right? And you could say, I don't want my kids to see that for, for whatever reason. That's a neat feature, guys. Really neat feature. So this user can't see these films and these TV shows, okay? All right, hopefully that's making sense. Great, we went over that, awesome. And in other show, when we have more time, I, I teach you pin access and stuff like that. Okay, let's talk about building a brand. This is the future I have designed for, yeah, Tracy, you can uncheck that for everybody. I uncheck it for myself and it is awesome. All right, let me tell you about Jasmine Ramirez. You know, she's a real person. And when you used to Google her, you looked like she was arrested. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, my kid, when you do that, there's somebody that got arrested, but it's not my kid, so it doesn't matter. Yes, it is. This is Jasmine until proven otherwise. But after Jasmine started caring about her Google results, we changed her Google results together. You see everything in the green box is positive. You click on all this and it takes you to her website. What? She's got an awesome little uh, portfolio. I'm a senior at Sato. It preps kids in middle school and high school for college, and it changes their behavior and gives them better online behaviors and safety. I'm a senior at this school and a future engineer. When you scroll down, you see her passion, her projects, her volunteer work, and her public service. This is awesome. She got into her dream school. They printed this out. Uh, do I take full credit for it? Yeah, I'll do it if I can. Okay, next. Next, now we have... This is Gerard. Now, who's Gerard? We don't know. Is it this handsome older man with gray hair? Uh, is this this doctor? Is, is it him? Is it, is it him? Who knows? But after Gerard started caring about and working on and taking, really putting his foot down saying, I want good Google results. We went to his school and we fixed his Google results by creating this, right? We created a portfolio that comes up first using our proprietary secrets. Then when you click on this, you get this handsome mug. Look at this kid, right? I'm Gerard. I attend this school in this city. Yada, yada, yada. You scroll down, you get his passion, his projects, his public service. Colleges found this. They let him into it. He's in his dream school, right? And it linked to his real Instagram and real Twitter. It told his dream school, hey, I know you're going to find me. So I just want to show you this is, how, this is how serious I am about being an awesome student. Next is Brendan. Brendan highlights his high school achievements, his career goals, his important projects that show leadership. Awesome, awesome student. Couldn't be more proud of this kid. Emmy Renner highlights her volunteer activities, her internship experience, travel photos, and what she learned overseas. Uh, it's all up here as well. Great student. All these kids got into their dream colleges. Uh, is it because of the website? Yep, taking full credit. Why not? Let's do it. Awesome. Guys, please set this up for your kids. If you need help, I got a workshop. I've got every aspect of the internet. I created a workshop for you. You get it all. You can try it for a week for free at the end if you want. How colleges are going to search for you online. I teach students why colleges look at students' social media. Social media is fair game, and college admissions officers are reading your tweets. What? And I teach students in my student speeches. You got to start with Google. You Google yourself the first way this way, and then the second way this way. Why? I teach all the students this in our workshops. And then search yourself this way and this way, and here's how you're going to find and all this stuff. And I show students the different things we find under my name. The green box is the good and the red box is the bad. And if you have the green box, they click on it and they go, whoa, great student, awesome. But if they, if they don't have the green box, then they go to the red box. The, the results in the red box are like, wait, what's that? Oh, no, no, you don't understand. They're going to click on the noble photo, the, the good one. No, they're not. They're going to look at the weird one. And it could be somebody else or it could be you. And that's why I teach students all this stuff is how to create a portfolio and be positive and please set this up and show your student what comes up. If you need help, I got a workshop. Okay, um, key takeaways. Before we get to the 10 key takeaways I'm gonna to give to you, and before we give you the key takeaway uh, worksheet, which we're gonna give you, I want you to consider just joining my next boot camp or just doing it on your own, finding your own time to do this, because kids get around things. 
So let me show you what people say about the VIP boot camp after at the end of it, okay? What did you think of tonight's VIP workshop where we set up TikTok and Snapchat and everything else? I loved everything you've taught me. I feel more comfortable letting her be on these apps, setting them up privately. Um, so we can enjoy them, but not everybody else sees what she's doing with her age. Um, so thank you very much. It's been very helpful. And I can't wait to go through the rest of the videos. Thank you. Hey, Maya, you're 10 years old. What did you think of today? Um, I feel much better going on the, app, the TikTok, and I feel much safer now that there's not going to be weird people look, like searching me up. Yeah, and we showed you before you're on Snapchat, because I don't think you're on Snapchat yet. We showed you before you're on Snapchat how to turn off that Snap Map. What did you think of that weird Snap Map feature? It was pretty creepy how people could see you. Right? You could see you live, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly. I want to thank both of you, Sarah and Maya. Thank you. All right, so that's what students say at the beginning of us working with them, and this is at the end. This is us building a website for Emmy. Hello everyone, I'm Josh Oaks and I'm so honored today to have Emmy Renner here. We have a new service where we build websites with students and we want to encourage you as a parent and as an educator to talk to high schoolers about building their own personal first website. Emmy, thanks for joining us today. What did you think of the process of building your first website? I think that it was an amazing process. Josh was so helpful and I was able to learn so much about how to create a website and also it was just very helpful to organize myself into categories and kind of figure out what my passions were and outline what um, my best qualities are. How do you think this will benefit you in the future? I think that it'll really simplify the process for colleges and make it easier for possible job aspects in the, in the future. And um, it'll just really clarify who I am and organize myself so that people who are looking at me and they don't know who I am, they'll be able to figure me out and see what I like. That's awesome. What would you tell other parents or educators that if they're on the fence about building a site for their student? I think that it's really helpful for kids because you're able to figure out um, not only this new technology, and but it's also really helpful to just organize yourself in a way that colleges aren't able to see through essays. So it's an interactive website where you can click on to different photos and different links, and it'll really just have everything that you need um, exemplified through a website. And your website is awesome. You do a great job. You are all about volunteering and all about interning in public office and traveling all over the world. And you are shining online. All right, everybody. So you can see what it looks like from start to finish. Hang out with me in the end. I want to give you this PDF. Okay. So, but first I want to invite you to my boot camp. I've got a safety boot camp. It's a little bit like this, but more in depth. It's an hour and a half and it's with your students because I want to teach your students how to set everything up safely. I've got one July 8th, July 29th. They're coming up here soon. Um, I've also got a branding boot camp. If you want to take that next step and you want to build a website for your kids, it's July 1st, July 15th, or August 12th. And when you join either one of these guys, if you want to, a lot of our members just say, hey, will you just do it for us? You got all these videos. You got this video program that's 10 bucks a month. If you join the boot camp, which is discounted, it's normally 99, it's $49 today. People last week literally paid $99 for it. They loved it. They loved it. Um, but uh, if you join one of these today, the VIP branding boot camp is normally $499. It is $99 today because it's really detailed building a website. But if you do that, you get five weeks of our VIP videos for free. And this is our membership. It's normally thousands of dollars to get all this data. You get 30 courses to watch anytime for $9.99 a month. Uh, let me know today if you want it. I'll give you the discount link if you want it. Uh, it's either let me know in the chat box if you want the safety boot camp, if you're interested on the fence, or the branding boot camp to build your kid a website um, and on those dates. You can also, you get an, a 30-day replay. You can watch it again. It's pretty amazing. Uh, if you miss it. Those of you who just want to support us, you can leave a text-based review. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, we've got some safety boot camps. Let me give you some links here real quick, guys, just so you have them, okay? Um, let me go ahead and go smart social. I'm going to throw the safety boot camp link in there. And and I <clears throat> I want to send that, put that in there for you here real quick, just so you have all that. 
those of you who want to uh, support us, you can leave a link on our, um, you can leave a link here if you want to do that. And just leave me a rating, guys. If you rate my book, um, if you click that link right there to rate my book, it's all the data that you just saw is inside of my book. When you do that, it helps me reach more people. Once you've created a username and, and rated it on Amazon, um, write something that helps others discover what you learned from me, right? Press submit. What did you learn today? What, what did Josh teach you, right? Press submit. And when you're done, say, I left a review. Send me the app list and I'll send that to you. The rest of you, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the discounted link, okay? Not really available for other people. But we've got the safety boot camp. Then we've got the shine online boot camp. I'm going to give you the, um, the credit card $49 link unless it let let me know if you want a credit card safety or PayPal safety, uh, credit card branding or PayPal branding. Credit card's easier, but here's the safety boot camp discount link. It's only good for this time, but you get a great deal on it. And I'm also going to give you the uh, credit card uh, link, copy that link, uh, the, the um, sorry, branding boot camp discount link. Okay. I'm going to give you I'm going to give you that as well. All right. So there you go. You've got two special links, safety boot camp discount right below it. You've got the branding boot camp. Uh, we've got them coming up here soon. It's going to be awesome. You get a great deal. And normally, normally they're $499 for this. I'm going to give you it for $99. And this is last week we had seven to 10 people buy it for $99. Uh, you're going to get it for 49. Now I want you to know that on the landing page, I want you to consider taking the upgrade. It's gonna say, hey, unlock all my videos for five weeks for free. You're gonna to get tons more. You see on this one, you only get the replay and a couple homework assignment videos. But when you buy this, you get five weeks for free. When you buy any of my boot camps, when you buy either one of these, you get five weeks for free for the mega library. It's like Netflix for digital safety. And it's amazing. You're gonna learn TikTok. You're gonna learn Instagram. You're gonna learn the details behind Snapchat pause, rewind me. You're going to learn YouTube, Fortnite, Netflix. You can ask me live during the boot camp. If you miss the boot camp, you can watch it again. There's a full refund as long as you participate, either replay or you participate in the boot camp and you don't like it, I'll give you a full refund. But um, yeah, I'm ex excited about that. So <clears throat> Roberta says safety boot camp. Tracy says branding boot camp. That's awesome. Anna, let me know what you want. You've got that uh, book rating uh, or, or that, that link that says rate book. It's uh, give us, leave a rating, um, leave a rating. Anybody that leaves a rating or buys the boot camp is going to get access to this app list that I showed you. That app list is pretty, pretty awesome, guys. And it's that free guide that you saw earlier. I'm going to, anybody that buys, joins tonight, you're going to get access to this. I'm so excited. So let me know what your decision is. Let me know in the poll or, I mean, in the chat box. I'm, I should do a little poll about this, right? I should do a poll. What are you most interested in? Um, that's actually a really, really great idea. Let's do that here right now. Trying to find my post-its. Trying to find, uh, let's, let's put add a poll, add poll. Um, I want branding, safety, branding support. Okay. All right. Awesome. Okay. Amazing. So let me know what you're doing as you're leaving a rating. I'm so thankful for all of you who have rated, um, who've gone in. Now, if you rate that book, it has all the same information that I give you, which is awesome. And the book is, is pretty, pretty terrific. I think you'll love it. Um, this is the book that my latest book, Light, Bright and Polite for teens and young adults. And, um, it's doing pretty great. So thank you so much for leaving that. Great. All right. Let me know once you've left that. Thank you, everybody who's in there. It's so great to have you here. Joshua, Rebecca, Rick, Roberta, Tracy, everybody live on YouTube. It's so great. Uh, so excited for all of you to jump in to that program. And uh, let's see what we have going on over here on Fantastic. Okay, on YouTube. All right, everybody. Thanks. Let me know if you if, uh, enter in the comment box. I left a review for your podcast. Send me the app list. Let me know if you did that and we will go 
from there. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate it. Let me know before we bounce. Go ahead and there's no rush. I'll wait another couple minutes and then we will go from there. So this is exciting. I left a review, says Tracy. Amazing. Amazing. I'm going to give you that app review list. Thank you, Tracy, so much. Here you go. Here is your link. Thank you so much, Tracy. Boom. You've got the, the link. Thanks a lot. Thanks for being a supporter of us. Okay. Uh, and let, let me know other people, if you left a rating and uh, Tracy, open that up and save it. It's pretty cool. Tracy, you're going to get all like rules of survival. It's crazy. It's a game. Um, rules of survival game. What is it? How does it work? And stuff like that. We've got so many of these. It's crazy. Um, all right, everybody else. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Tracy. Thanks everybody for joining. I really appreciate all that you're doing. This is great. Thanks for all the support. I'm going to bow out right now. If you miss something, uh, you can always get a copy of this or join us and uh, get our replay. Thanks everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for everything. Oh, Roberta says, I gave you a rating. Roberta, here you go. Thank you so much. Boom. Awesome. Great. And um, I think this is really, really cool. Okay, everybody. Thanks so much, Roberta. Uh, Rebecca, let me know if you are leaving a rating or if you are um, joining the program. I hope, you'll, I hope you'll join. We're limited on seats and I think it's going to be an exciting event, but it's something cool. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for joining. Uh, also, I'm going to give you a free week if you want it. I'm going to give you a free week of this program. If you are uh, the VIP membership, you can actually just unlock all of our videos. If you don't want to uh, join our boot camps, you can unlock all of our videos. I'm going to give that to you right now. And um, I'm going to let you uh, unlock all of our videos if you want. That wasn't just for, uh, that was for all of you. So unlock all videos on your own pace. You can get the first week for free, $9.99 or $97 a year and save. Uh, so, and you're going to get all kinds of videos and stuff. Click here to view all the courses. Um, I've got dozens and dozens of them. It's unbelievable. And they're updated every single month. We've got a new one and uh, updating the old ones. Hey, guys, thanks so much. I'm going to bow out. Have a wonderful night. I appreciate your help. Live from Los Angeles, California. I'm Josh Oaks. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. Take care. Bye.